Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with another layout using the homemade kit that I put together for the month of July. And so you can see I've pulled out just a bunch of the different pattern paper scraps as well as this one from Girl Squad by Pebbles. And this is going to be the background of my page. Um, so this is just a black background and then it has white kind of like hashtag words all over it. And it's a really subtle pattern so it works really well with the, the rest of kind of the impact of this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and take this strip of black and white hearts and I'm going to mount it on top of this pink paper. And there is a kit share video for this kit if you're curious like where certain papers came from or what collection things are from. All of that information can be found in the July kit share which is also in this playlist. Okay so then I am taking this 6x6 paper that has the black background with the white triangles. And I'm going to leave that bigger, so I'm not going to cut that down to mat with my photo. And so I have my 4x4 photo with a little bit of a white cardstock mat. And then I'm putting it on that 6x6 block. And then I'm just kind of stacking up and staggering the rest of these pattern papers that I want to include along that left-sided border. And then I know that I want to tuck this glassine bag in behind all of those layers. Because I have grabbed a tag out of my stash that I am going to stick inside there. And that's where my journaling is going to be found. So this is a black and white picture of my daughter um, when she had gotten a dollhouse um, for Christmas. And there were a lot of colors going on in the dollhouse itself. So I pretty much always intended for this to end up being a black and white. And I want to tell this story <coughs> excuse me, about my daughter's really active imagination. And the fact that, you know, she really wanted this dollhouse to play with and she just had hours and hours of fun and stories and things that went along with it. So I'm going to use these puffy sticker houses. And there are four of them on a, on a sheet in this cute girl collection. And I'm going to go ahead and use all eight of them across the bottom. So I'm lining them up across that entire white, or not white, pink scallop border. And I want them to extend, you know, the full length of that entire area. So I'm kind of setting up this little town. And I really love kind of the whimsical look of these, along with all of the colors and pattern papers in this, in this collection that I put together. And so at this point, I'm deciding that that little turquoise house is just too much over there. And so the yellow one isn't going to make the cut either. Um, but I do have some extra room over here on the left-hand side. So I decide to start my row a little bit earlier instead, and then rather than trying to fit in that turquoise one, um, what I'm going to end up doing is kind of pulling that part apart and changing it up here in a few minutes. Um, I've already kind of decided my title is going to be Beautiful Dreamer because it's talking about this Barbie dream house, but also talking about this sense of imagination that my daughter has. So Beautiful Dreamer is going to be the title up there. And then I'm going to grab some of these Tim Holtz um, phrases to go underneath. And it says, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Today is full of possibilities. And listen to your heart. It will show you the way. And so those are going to be kind of those three sediments that I tuck in that space underneath my title. And I really like how all of those elements fit together. So I've used that script thicker, foam thicker, beautiful, along with these thickers from Pebbles that are more like a chipboard. And then I'm adding those phrases at the bottom. And then I'm gonna just go back and add some of these little hearts that were also on the puffy sticker sheet. And that's just gonna kinda add a little bit of detail. So I'm adding some more emphasis um, in three areas around that title, uh, title box. So one at Beautiful, one at Dreamer, and then there is gonna end up being one down in the bottom by those phrase stickers. And you'll see me get that put in place here in just a second. Um, and then I do add another one up at the top by where my tag is going to be. And there I'm getting all of that stuff in place. So I do want to take a second and thank you definitely for being here. There's lots of new subscriber, subscribers lately, so I want to say hello and thank you for joining us. Um, please look around. Leave me comments. I love hearing from you guys. And totally just hit the camera right there. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I do love getting your comments. And I do answer every single comment I get. Sometimes it takes me a few days or a week to get caught up, but I do make sure that I answer every single person who does leave a comment. So please take a second, leave me a comment down below. Um, tell me about your stash kit. So have you ever put together a stash kit? Do you like using them? Are you intimidated? What freaks you out about putting one together? 
Uh, talk to me about stash kits. If you have a good experience, bad experience, no experience, tell me something. Um, so back to the layout. I am just looking and making sure that I'm happy with all of my little final details, which I am. I did go back off camera and put all my journaling on that tag, which I just wrote out kind of as a letter to my daughter about her and her imagination at this age. And that is pretty much going to do it. So thank you so much for joining me. Leave me a comment below, like, subscribe, come see me on Instagram, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!